Alright guys, how's it going? Awesome Soul here, and I am back in Tier 3 with the Micro Emergency Medic. So, I am the only medic in this whole game on uh, either side, so uh, I am gonna play it safe here. Because it looks like we've got a rail somewhere out there. He's not too happy about our team getting too close. Um, so, oh god, we got a plasma up there as well. A flappy, I'm guessing? Be real careful here. Um, so something I wanted to talk about today is... Oh, this is going to be a real stressful lot, isn't it? Uh, so something I want to talk about today is different movement methods that could eventually come to the game, or rather, something I'd personally like to see in the game. And I thought back, like, quite a while back, um, and I tried to remember, like, I remember seeing this, uh, oh, I lost the weight, the weight of cubes on the bottom. Um, that ain't good. So, um, I remember a long time back, there was this really, really well thought out thread with some really highly detailed artwork, uh, 3D modeling, or renders rather, and um, it was for this blimp style system. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, oh awesome, there's already um, helium in the game, why would we need dedicated blimps? Um, so this isn't exactly what this thread was completely about. This was more so my take on it. Um, now, what I'd like to see the this sort of blimp system as is essentially like a modular style system. Which, well, actually, that was how he had it in the thread. But there'd be different parts. So there'd be the like the middle section, the bigger, beefier, I guess you could say, section of it, and then there's the the end bits. So they would like round in and be more of like a a semicircle, kind of. I don't know. I'm trying to. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, you get the idea. So, point is, there's multiple parts to it. But, um, I guess kind of like the, the Tier X shields, how there's like multiple versions of the same thing for shaping, how it's sort of curved in, and there's like a flat version, sort of like that, except for this big, huge, traditional style helium balloon. So that way, making it modular, you shoot one bit, and the whole thing is not going to come crouching down. Much like how current helium is in the game. Since it's a block, which doesn't have a whole lot of health on its own, it's going to spread out and... not going to be that great. So, um... Yeah, that covers that. But, um... Defense-wise, so the, the main role of this sort of blimp concept I have is like a flying tank, basically. The, tre the tank treads of the air, more or less. Because um, how I see it... Kind of, I guess, this would fit. But, uh, so wings and aerofoils, they are the... the wheels of the sky. The rotors are the hover blades of the sky, and then this blimp system would be the tank tracks of the sky. Now I know that Free Jam isn't huge on. Uh, let's see if I can't get lucky dropping off here. Hey, what do you know? I landed. That doesn't happen too often with this bot, so uh, I don't know. it's a victory for me. But what was I getting at? Oh yes, the, uh, they're basically the tank tracks of the sky. And... How it would work is... They do provide lift on their own. 
like, you know, they would um, go up and down. And they would have like a... I don't know how exactly it would make sense, but they would have a ballast system. So they could generate their own helium somehow by like creating the molecules. I don't know how exactly that would work, but um, I don't know, something like that. So that means they could gain lift on their own and decrease lift on their own. But they would also have a lot of drag to them. So, well, just like the regular helium, but more extreme. So, say if you wanted to add thrusters to it, it would hardly do anything. Or propellers. That wouldn't really add much to it. So, like, things like that, basically. Um, now, they would have built in, I guess, the original concept for it that the other guy had. They were, um, they had this specific modular section that would have these mini propellers on them. But that would be like an end bit only. So the way I would have mine would be more so each component or each module has their own little not fan but um air jet i guess you could say that would propel it through the air and these air jets would either or could face multiple directions not up or down but you know forwards or back and they would be incredibly tanky you know, because you're thinking like, oh, helium, that can easily be taken out. But no, these would be heavily armored. So it's like a armored helium tank, essentially. Which would make an armored helium air tank. Because, <laughs> you know, like a flying tank was what I was trying to get at with that statement. I don't know, it didn't come out too well. Um, but yeah, I think that would be really, really cool. Um, having a massive, highly stable, highly tanky bot in the air is something we don't really have because aerofoils are for hit and run style attacks rotors are for more stealthy gameplay and we don't really have a proper aerial tank and some would say like oh you know aero or um uber warp drives well one they've been nerfed to hell and two they were never really that strong, defensively. It was the fact that they could outspeed the rotation of your guns that made them quote-unquote tanky and hard to take down, more or less. This is what I was trying to get at. <laughs> Simply hard to take down. Anyways, guys. Uh, what would you say to a concept like that? I think it's something that the game really needs, as much as Free Jam probably will never put it in the game, because I know Mark uh, keeps saying that, oh, it's a ground game with aerial support, but I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see more of a mix. Um, yeah, again, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing. I do these quite a lot. These sort of gameplay while giving my own thoughts and ideas on the game and the uh, current direction it's going in. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been the Awesome Soul and I will see you next time.